Tri rang ba ka jala ko rat sang ma ha nega sngi ula ong ba gidon ka ba nyau pao ha jar ngut ka samla ki barung ban trai ka man la ka snem bat ka nek ka day ka kamram jo ka sorkar ban thao da ki polisi ban aylat ya ki ban yok rung sya ka yo ban yok kam yok jam ka jing dawa ban yok kam ka long haduk kata kata bat kam long ka besuk ya ka sorkar ban ay kam ya baro kumba ka long manta kumba khat san spa ngut ki yok kam ha ki tanat ba pher ba pher jong ka sorkar lang ba ka meghalaya public service commission baru lang ba ka district selection committee Menteri Rambak Hanik Sengi ulah pelajar pajba ya ka CM Elevate ha jawai ha ke jingdon lang uem le ke jawai uba wailat miki shela bat ke kong santa meri shela na ke leng Menteri Rambak ulah ong ba ke sorkar ke penlong ya kini ke program peper peper ban ai men semi ke samla ban sengkam sengjam da ke ba ai jingkersan ya ke ba ar po hajar ngut ha ke mang pisa ke ba lais pa kelur na ke benda kini ke san snem ke ban wan Ula ongru ba kumba lai pu lai lak ngot ki breu jong ka jela na ka lai pu kendai lak ki dei ki ba hapo ka sau pesan snem karta In the last five years through MPSE I'm talking just MPSE the average job vacancies and advertisements that were came out was roughly 300 in one year next year 400 the third year 500 then again the year after that 300 So the average plus minus on the highest scale for MPSC is 500 jobs a year. District selections, this, that, you know, ad hoc, a, ro, all put together, max 2,000. So if government jobs are going to get 2,000 per year, and we have 70,000 youths coming into the workforce every year, what happens to the rest of the 68,000? and this is really the challenge for us as a government and for every government i should say and there is the plus and the downside of having a young population so our young population is our strength we have a young workforce but then how do we utilize this young force how do we unlock the energy the potential that you have into a constructive and productive manner that is the challenge for policy makers and for government and hence we have decided that until unless entrepreneurship and businesses grow it cannot happen so therefore we'll be spending minimum 300 crores in the next 5 years that word is of course uh, thing so we'll be coming up with the, we have come up with this program I'm going to details if you look at this we are looking at 220000 entrepreneurs in different categories and we'll be providing with them with different kind of subsidies you know uh, and we expect well they put 50000 jobs but even if one entrepreneur were to create two to three jobs the amount would be anything between well 60000 uh, but yeah 40000 to 60000 80000 that's minimum we're talking i have always maintained that development is incomplete if every citizen and every community and society and part of our state does not move forward with us together then the development is never complete <laughs> and hence meghalaya can only move towards real development if each and every family and citizen and region in a balanced manner moves forward and it is with this thought in this mindset and this objective that we have launched this program and i have made it a point that i come and launch this program myself in all the three major regions of our state that our government's approach we realize it cannot be only one sided or it cannot be only from one aspect or only one group or one community or one particular sector if we want to see economic development it has to be multi sectoral it has to be multi community it has to be multi uh, agencies and hence today when we le- realize that empowerment economic empowerment of women is important the self help group movement was one of the most powerful ways to economically empower our women our women are very very enterprising they really want to do a lot of things but they need support they need help they need guidance they need training they need equipments they need packaging 
They need marketing accessibility. And hence, it was through the self-help group movement that all of this process was done. And so, today, we are here to celebrate the work that the self-help groups are doing and give them more uh, funds and checks uh, and we will have that program after the speech. But if they don't get the support, then they lose hope. They get demoralized and then they start doing the wrong things. And hence, we need to keep our youth busy and active. So yes, we need to tell them, don't, don't take drugs, say no to drugs, say no to substance abuse. We can tell them that. It's good to tell them. But until unless you don't give them a positive option, telling them will not serve the purpose entirely. And hence you tell them, guide them and give them counseling. But until unless you don't give them the option to, you know, use their energy, channelize their energy in a different way, they will go back or they may get, you know, into the wrong things. We have in the last five years, supported over 3,000 different entrepreneurs in different ways. <laughs> Hand-holding, giving them grants, giving them subsidy, giving them loan, training, all different kinds of things, have competitions. So that program was called the Prime Program. And after three, four years of working, we were able to support, as I said, about 3,000 entrepreneurs. And hence, we felt that we need to now push this more further. Did you know that every year, and listen to this very carefully, every year, roughly, plus minus, 70,000 youths enter the workforce in Meghalaya. I'll repeat, every year, 70,000 youth enter the workforce every year, 70,000. And as we go ahead in the future, this number is going to go up, go up to 1 lakh because our population trend is such. Children between the age of 0 to 5 is about close to, you know, 0 to 5 uh, uh, population is about 1 lakh plus, uh, more than that in fact, in that, uh, not 1 lakh, sorry, uh, 5 lakh plus, between 0 and 5. Between 5 and 10, the population is about 4 point something. And so on and so forth, the graph decreases. 33 lakhs are below the age of 45. That's our population trend. We have a huge workforce. Now, why am I telling you this? It's because as a government, I look at what's happening now and I project of what's going to happen 10, 15, 20 years from now. And if we don't put the policies today in place, we will have a very critical situation 15 years from now where the employment, unemployment rate will be huge and unmanageable. And hence, the policies which we are doing today should have been done 15 years back. I'm not here to complain or compare or try to speak anything against any past government. That's not how I work. But I'm just giving you the facts. That until and unless policies are created today, we will have a massive problem and a critical problem 10 to 15 years. We already have. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. And come 2035, 2045 and 2050, it's going to be a very, very bad situation for the country and for the state. And obviously all state governments are planning. So Meghalaya is taking a lead in that in one way. 